Okay, so we will talk about uh, BFS DFS, this is basically problem of gra graph search. So, basically we want to uh, explore a gra graph, exploring a graph. So, how we can explore a graph? So, uh, suppose we have two vertices, two uh, vertices S and V and we want to have, we want to see the what are the path from S to V, we want to find the path of S to V. So, this is one way of exploring a graph. Not only V, we want to explore all the path from S to any other vertices like this. So, this is also one way to explore a graph. So, we want to see from S what are the vertices we can reach. So, this is one, uh, one uh, way of exploring a graph. So, not only S, we want to see what are the, uh, we, we want to explore all the vertices. Okay. Now, these are some application graph search in the, so first application would be uh, like web crawling. So, this is basically used in uh, Google. So, suppose I design a new uh, web page and Google has to uh, get that web page into their database. So, how to explore that? Google, so, Google has to add new and new database, uh, new and new web page. So, Google will do do thus this uh, search uh, BFS. Okay. Now, another may be the social network, uh, social networking. Okay. So, friend finder uh, like in Facebook, So, how to find a friend? So, we have to explore that and another application could be say garbage collection. So, nowadays every modern programming language is having this garbage collector. So, we do not need to free the memory we have used. So, it will automatically check by the program whether something is using or not. So, it will explore if it is not using for long time. So, it will free that space for further use that is the garbage collection. So, there are many applications of uh, graph search. So, today we will talk about this two way how we can search a graph, how, how, how we can explore a graph. Okay. So, this is uh, we start with the BFS breakfast search. So, we will take an example of uh, Rubik cube or the pocket cube. Okay. So, this is a uh, this is a 3 by 3 Rubik cube. So, it has a solved state and if we so each each uh, position is a we can define a state. So, we can have a graph where each position is a state. Now, if we change it, then it will give us another state by just one move. So, this is a state. So, it, it has a solved state. Okay. So, now, uh, so how many, so if it is a 2 by 2 Rubik cube, then how many states are there basically? The number of states are basically, uh, that is basically number of vertices, it is basically factorial 8 into C to the power 8, which is huge. It is basically 2, 6, 4, 5, 3, 9, 5 to 0. So, this many states. Okay. Now, how we can form the graph based on these vertices? So, these are the possible states. So, this is one state. If we change little bit, this is another state. This is like this. So, this, this is the state. Okay. So, now, how, how we can? So, this is suppose this is a solved state. So, this is a solve state or we refer to a solve vertex, solve vertex. That means, everything is matching all are read over here like this. Okay. Then we define, we take 
other states which are just just one step ahead from the solved state. So, we take a solved state, we just make a one move, then those those are basically this step. So, just a one move, one move from the solved state and then we take another vertices, another state which are basically uh, two move from the solved state like this. So, these are basically uh, two move, two move. So, to come to the solved state we have to give two move, we follow this and then this. So, like this we continue, so at the end we have the vertices like this. So, so what is the this depth if it is 2 by 2 Rubik cube this this is 11 basically. So, whenever we are in any state we can go to the solved state by 11 move this is called diameter diameter or it is also called God number. So, this is the number of uh, step we require from a in any given state suppose we are here we can come to the solved state if we follow this part. So, this is one way to explore a graph this is basically uh, BFS a uh, breadth first search we are we are reformed this we are reaching to the all other vertices like this. Okay. So, this is a example of BFS. So, now we will uh, formally have the code for BFS. So, to have the code let us just define the label. So, these are basically we are defining these are the nodes which are in label 0 that means, they are already in the starting state. So, we, we take the solved state as the starting state and these are in level 1 that means, we need to have a one move to go to the solved state which are directly connected. So, these are the all adjacency vertices of uh, this node and they are in all level 2 like this. So, if it is 2 by 2 Rubik cube this are in all level 11 I mean 11 diameters so level 10 the last level. Okay. So, now let us uh, write the code for the BFS. So, it is level wise exploring level by level. So, we first start with a source vertex S and then we explore all the adjacency vertices those are in the level 1 and then from there we explore all the adjacency vertices of those vertices which are in level 1 then slowly we will explore the graph. So, that is the idea. So, let us write the code for BFS. So, we have a these are the vertex says we have a graph, we have adjacency list and we have a source vertex. Okay. So, let me write the code. So, we label the source as 0 because source as at 0 level, then we define parent of S is basically null and then we start the level 1 and the previous level is previous level is i minus 1. So, previous level means we are at level we start with the level 0 then level 1 and so on and then we put the font here we put s there. Okay. Now, while frontier is not empty Okay, we take the next as we initialize by empty and then for v is in frontier we take a vertex from the frontier initially frontier is basically containing s v is in frontier frontier what we do. 
So, we check all the adjacency vertex of like sorry u is in front here, we take all adjacency vertex of uh, this node. So, suppose we start with this, so this is our u, now we take all that say all adjacency vertex of this and we label them by i. So, label of v is i, I minus 1. So, we label if if it is not label, if v is not label because we do not want any repetition not label, then we label the v by i. So, this is the code and we make a pointer parent of v is basically u. This we require to have a shortest path from this uh, v to the source node, we will explain. So, now next is basically we append in the next we append this v into the next. So, this is 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 maybe. Okay, then in 13 what we are doing? Okay, so, we just taking the frontier as a next. And we take uh, i is equal to i plus plus, i plus i is equal to i plus plus for the next level. So, this is the uh, this is typically a python code. So, this is what it is telling we start with the source, then we and we label the source as a 0 level and then we uh, slowly we will explore the graph. Let us take an example. So, suppose we have a graph like this, we have a s uh, z x d f c v. So, suppose this is our vertices and we have it just like this, 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 this. Okay. So, this is our graph, given graph and we have to uh, apply the, we have to explore this graph based on the uh, this BFS. Okay. So, do we start with this node? this is our uh, level 0 node. So, i is equal to 0. So, this we denote by level 0 node. Okay. So, now, so our initialize our frontier is frontier is s, this is the this step. The frontier is not empty next is empty over here. So, we just take this u. So, u is basically s. Now, we take all, all the adjacency node of u basically s. So, these are the two adjacency node of this. So, we label them by uh, 1 this 2 and we put it into the uh, frontier. Basically, we put it into the next and next will be the frontier. So, now the frontier is frontier is basically these two nodes A x and this is basically our uh, level sorry level 1 node. Okay. Now, we take now frontier is still not empty. So, we take a vertex from the frontier if we take say uh, yeah we if we just take A then we take the all the adjacency vertices of A and we label them. So, z we label them 2 and if we take x we label them this to 2 and this is the next level, this is the next level. So, this is the level 2, this is next level vertices and the frontier will become now 
I mean that is the next we appeal all the nodes in next. So, this will become basically j d c. Okay. Now, we take all the elements. So, we take z. So, for z this is the adjacency vertex which is already label. So, we will not do that again. Now, we take d uh, for d this is the node. So, we label it 3 and then for c this is the node we label it 3. So, this is the level 3 vertices okay. and we also do the this parent mark the parent pointer which will give us the shortest path basically. So, from A, so parent pointer of this is basically this node and the parent pointer of this is basically S and parent pointer of this is basically this node and this, this and parent pointer of this is basically I mean it depends how we are exploring if we are exploring from D. So, this is basically uh, this node and parent pointer of this is basically this node. If we explore through D then it will be like this. Okay. So, this is the pa parent pointers. So, now what is the use of this parent pointer? We want to reach to uh, suppose you have a vertex V, we want to reach from V to S. So, how we can reach to V to S? We will just follow this uh, parent pointer link and this will give us a shortest path. So, if we just take this explore this link. So, we will just uh, explore this link like uh, V then parent of V then parent of parent of V. like this. So, slowly we will reach to S okay. and now this is basically a shortest path is a shortest path from S to V. Okay. So, we just follow this pointer and we get the shortest path. So, this is the uh, BFS and what is the time complexity for this? So, the time complexity will be order of. So, degree, so what is the sum of the degree of u? This is basically, I mean if it is a directed graph, if it is undirected graph it is 2 e, this is basically hand sucking lemma and if it is directed graph it is basically order of e and we are visiting all the vertices. So, the time will be for BFS it is basically V plus E. Okay. So, this is the way we just explore uh, all the vertices, uh, but every time we have to avoid the duplicate. So, that there will be uh, once we visited a node we should not visit it again to avoid the duplicate. Okay. So, now, this is also giving the shortest path if we just follow this parent pointer to that uh, S and so this also solve the problem of the Rubik cube. So, for the Rubik cube if we start from any vertex, any vertex and if we know that position in that picture then we start from there we follow this path and we come back to the solved state. Okay, and they, there are at most if it is 2 by 2 Rubik cube, this is a 3 by 3 Rubik cube. If it is 2 by 2 Rubik cube, we, it is just 11 step we can reach to a solved state, 11 st uh, step. Okay. Okay, now, we will talk about uh, DFS. So, we talk about uh, DFS or depth, uh, depth for search. Okay. 
this is also one way to explore a graph. Okay. So, this is coming from the problem what is called uh, exploring a maze. Okay. So, we, we start exploring a maze like we, we go to some, some way and if we stuck there, we will come back again and then from this is sort of backtracking. So, we keep on continue, we, we keep on going until we stuck. If we stuck means there is no way to go from there. So, then we will come back that is the backtracking. We come back to the previous position and then we try to explore the other path. So, that is the uh, exploring the maze. So, now, so this is basically uh, we recursively, we recursively explore graph and we have to do the recursively, we have to do the backtracking if necessary. backtracking as necessary. Okay. So, this is a recursive call. So, let us just write the pseudo code for this. So, we take the parent of parent of S as null. and we call this function dfs visit this is a pseudo code this is a subroutine and so we have a graph input and s so this is basically actually bfs is we have to explore all the vertices now here we are exploring this with the vertex s so, if the graph is connected, if we can explore each vertex from S, then one sort it is done. But if the graph has disjoint connect, uh, connect uh, disjoint component, then we have to do it for all the vertices. So, for this, so this if if we start with S and if we explore this, so what is the code? Code is like this. So, for so basically the idea is this is S. So, these are the all adjacency vertex of S V. So, we keep on export this from V. So, we start with S, we go to V, then we keep on export from V, so that we also avoid to have the repetition. So, we will keep track of that. So, let us just write the code. So, for uh, V in adjacency list of S then we have a check if v is if v is not in parent that means v is not explored yet then we mark parent of v which is basically u and we call this this is the recursive call dfs visit v this is the set of vertices and this is the okay, this is the recursive call. So, if it is not yet explored, we will again do the recursive call on this. So, we will continue this until we stuck. If we stuck, we will come back and again we will take a point from the parent and we will explore that is the idea. So, this is the uh, pseudo code, we have to call this code in the DFS. The main code is DFS and we have a graph and the adjacency list. This is the main code and this will call this pseudo code. Okay, so, what we do? We take the parent. So, initially parent is empty and we take a node from this uh, for S in V we take arbitrary, we can start with any a node. We take a node from S, uh, from V 
and we check whether it is not explored if v is not in parent if sorry if s is if s if s is not in parent then we take the parent of s as null and we call this dfs visit v comma adjacent and then this s so this is the subroutine we will call for this so this we will do for all the vertices so we take a arbitrary vertex we try to explore all the component connected to s and then if it is covered all the point full otherwise we have to uh, take the another component this so we will take an example for this how it is working okay so let us take a graph this is a b c d e f and suppose they are these are the a edges suppose these are the edges Okay, and there is a cell globe over here. So, suppose this is a graph. So, this is an uh, we have to execute this uh, DFS on this graph. Okay. So, suppose we take a vertex S. S could be any arbitrary vertex. So, we start with this vertex. We defined as S 0. Okay. So, now this is our A is our S. Now, we take all the adjacency vertices. We take a adjacency vertex of this. So, this this we can take or this we can take if you take this then this is the number one edge. So, we cover this and we put it into the uh, this parent then we keep on exploring. So, we take this again and then we cover this this is the edge number 2 and then and we have a parent pointer like this like this and then from here well this is the adjacency vertex. So, every time we check whether this is already visited or not. So, d is not visited. So, we will explore this edge. So, this is edge number 3 and then from d this is the vertex. So, but this has already explored. So, we will not uh, explore this vertex again. So, then so, we have to come back. So, we will come back here, we check whether E has any other adjacency vertex or not. No. So, we come back here. So, we check whether D B is having any other adjacency vertex or not. We will come back here, we check A is having any other adjacency vertex or not. So, yes, A is having a adjacency vertex, which is basically D, but D is already visited, it is already covered. Okay. So, now this this part of the graph is over. Now, we have to take another vertex which is this say we can take this one S 2 and we take uh, adjacency vertex of this. So, we check this one. So, this one is already explored. So, we will not uh, cover this. Now, we take this one. So, this one we have to explore. So, f now we we take from f we have a f. So, f is already explored we are not doing anything and then from f there is no other vertexes adjacent to f. So, we will go back here where we check any other vertex adjacency list of c or not then we stop. Okay. So, this is the uh, basically uh, dfs. Now, what is the time complexity for this? So, basically time is we are exploring all the vertices and we for each vertices we are exploring the uh, adjacency list. So, adjacency list degree that is called degree how many vertex are there in the adjacency list that is called degree. So, this is basically we know this is basically order of E by hand checking lemma. 
So, this is basically and we are we are visiting all the vertices. So, this is basically order of v plus e. Now, this has many application this be a, this problem like we can uh, classify the edge and we can find the cycle whether there is any cycle in this graph cycle testing or we can do the topological sort. So, this is basically the graph uh, two way of uh, graph exploring one is VFS other one is DFS. Thank you.